Hello everyone, and we've had a chance to read over the sage slash sorcerer and the inquisitor slash the consular, should we say, changes. We'll start with the sage. Uh, all of the heals are getting their force cost reduced. Really? Really? You're going to reduce all the force cost? Of all, uh, just after increasing them. Maybe they're going to put the force that we've got back to 500 instead of 600. That's the only reason I could think. It doesn't say here, because this is data mine stuff. So it's not going to be complete or anything like that. So, yeah. Interesting to see that um, that the Rejuvenate, rejuvenate uh, Force Armor Benevolence all getting reduced. Okay. Uh, Rejuvenate's healing is getting reduced. Do we care? Not really. It's just an enabler, really. It's just a thing that enables better healing done. Uh, reduce the healing done by benevolence Ooh, for all specs. This is this is for all specs. Vindicate only restores forty force now, so it's gone down a little bit. Uh, we're still gonna keep. I wonder if our set bonus will still work. I did get the four piece set now on my sage, five out of six on the sage. So we only got the six piece set on our sage. Uh, but yeah, interesting enough. I I mean I guess if they're if they're gonna take the force back to five hundred instead of six hundred. That's why I get the suspicion they're going to do that, because it would make sense if they did that to reduce all the force costs, but it doesn't say here. Um, so if they're just reducing it and leaving it at 600, we're just going to be spammy again. We're just going to go back to being spammy. Again, after, after just after, you know, a couple of months after increasing the force cost, they're going to reduce it again. Make up your mind, okay, unless they're going to do that, unless they're going to change it downward again. So our utilities, we're getting Benevolent Haste. Benevolence gives movement speed to the target by 50%. Guess who's going to be spamming Benevolence? I guess, guess who's going to be spamming that? Uh, on Underlurker. Oh god, give me Benevolence! Give me Benevolence! Give me Benevolence! I need to run 50% movement speed. It says the target and it's a heal. So, oh, it can only a car once every 12 seconds, so... That would be use it, use it on yourself. Is it? Uh, sorry, you'll always get one slowpoke who can, you know, every class is getting a movement speed buff, but you, it's going to be interesting. Are they going to take... Uh, how are they going to balance the raids around that? Because, like, Lurker is going to be a joke if we've got all these movement speed increases. Lurker HM, we're just going to laugh at it and get behind the rock. You know? Dizzying Force, reduce the target's accuracy by 20% after Force Accuracy. Force lift finishes, PvP thing. Uh, it could be useful PvE for CC, but yeah. Uh, also, we're all getting phase walk. All the Inquisitors. Sage and Sorcerers getting phase walk. Should have pointed that out at the start, but yeah, that is what we're all getting. Uh, Ethereal Entity, because that's the next one, uh, Heroic Tier. Uh, Using phase walk to return to its marked location grants ethereal utility, which prevents you from being leapt to, pulled, and making you immune to interrupts. Really? They're just really kind of shitting on the power techs here. Although the power techs do have jet charge now, so I guess it makes sense. You could argue there. Uh, so, you know, the power techs, their uh, harpoon, or their grapple, whatever it's called, it's going to be less useful in PvP in the next expansion if these changes go through. Force mobility is getting a change. Uh, you can now activate force barrier while moving. Being able to move while immune in force barrier. So you can now run away like the pussy that you are with your immunity bubble. Yeah, welcome to another bloody World of Warcraft ability. Can't paladins can bubble and be immune from damage while moving? What's next? Are you going to have hearth bubbling? Are they going to be able to use their quick travel while bubbled? Is that next? Is that That's the next thing, isn't it? We know that's coming. You know, because you can do that in World of Warcraft. So, you can do it in WoW, you can do it in Swotor. So, welcome to the... It is the kind of cut and paste World of Warcraft, essentially. That, that's what we're seeing here. A lot of this is being seen. So, uh, kinet, Kinetic Collapse is being moved to Heroic. And Confound is being moved from Heroic to Masterful. There you go. Really, so what is the healer getting? Seer is getting Erudite Mender. 
Increases the healing done by the already ridiculously overpowered Wandering Mend and reduces the force it consumes by 10. Okay, it's so overpowered that ability. That needs to be nerfed at least. Put a longer cooldown on it maybe. Amnesty now causes Force Barrier to purge Weary. Ooh. So you can barrier to get out of Weary. Interesting. There you go. Pop your Force Barrier up. And you can get rid of Weary. So you can do a bit of uh, regen while moving around. Uh, will you be able to use your abilities? It doesn't say using Force Barrier. While bubbled. It doesn't say. But PvP that's going to be ridiculously OP. Okay, you're just going to run away. While immune to all damage. You know. And you've got phase walk. And you've got bear in mind bear that in mind. We've got phase walk as well. PvP is just gonna be a fucking it, it's gonna be really, really boring. <laughs> PvP is gonna like oh that way, oh the spear. Are we ever gonna actually fight anyone in PvP or is everyone just gonna be like rocketing out? They're gonna be phase walking, they're gonna be running away with barrier active. It's gonna be a really, really boring PvP fight. So we're gonna get really boring. Survivability is being improved, but you know, we're just gonna get a bunch of stalemates in PvP. It just seems like that would be worse, I think. Uh just to have that as a bunch of stalemates in PvP. Right, so preservation reduces the force cost of forced armor by fifteen instead of thirty. It makes sense that they're reducing the base cost. I guess healing trance is healing has been reduced. Ooh, and the force over the channel has been reduced. <gasps> a lot of healing getting reduced. Doesn't say how much though. But it is a bit overpowered right now, the sage. So yeah, salvation is getting its force cost reduced and its healing reduced. <gasps> we were considering that for our main sage healer. We're actually considering it. Reconsidering it now. Certainly like looking at it going, mmm. Maybe not. Immutable force no longer reduces the force cost of wandering mend, which makes sense because erudite mender is going to reduce the force cost. Makes sense. Wandering mend force cost reduced from 50, from 65 to 50. Its healing has been reduced. Yes. Yes. That's what we want to see. It's OP as hell. There you go. We read this in order. Read this in order, you see. Good stuff. But you're getting it buffed by 5%. So is it going to be reduced by more than 5%? Balance out? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know these things again. It's just speculation at this. Telekinetics. Uh, telekinetic refuge. Telekinetic burst. Increases damage reduction by 3%. 10 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. Boring. Yeah, that, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Really, really boring. Uh, psychokinetic torrent. Dealing damage with telekinetic throw increases the critical chance of your periodic damage effects by 2% for 10 seconds. Which stacks up to 4 times. That's yeah, interesting. Really needs a buff balance. Balance really needs to be buffed, I think. It does. I mean, it is one of the weakest range specs in the game. Uh, so yeah, you're getting your crit chance of your periodic effects. Get your periodic effects up. And bear in mind, telekinetic throw is no cooldown. And you kind of, and it also has reduced uh, channel time in that spec. So again, you know, giving that crit chance would be good. It lasts for 10 seconds. So I guess you'll always want to have that up. But you're always using telekinetic throw anyway as filler, basically. It's got no cooldown in that spec. So I guess, you know, it's interesting. See what it does, really. Hopefully the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the other thing. Hopefully the, uh, the other ability should we say get a buff as well because it is pretty weak right now it's pretty weak sauce balance right now it was a cool spec back in the day for doing fights like Garge it was cool the old balance spec was pretty cool on those fights you know you, you when you had to move and you keep your dots up you know there you go you would move you'd make sure you had at least four stacks before you had to move for the uh, when the uh, ceiling collapsed and the uh, the the uh, the platform fell into the lava. So there you go. Uh, again, you'd probably want to try and keep that up. Right. The assassin. The assassin is getting shadow step as well. Phantom slide. It's going to be called. Use the force to move through time and space, peering at your enemy target. Can't use it on a friendly target though. It's the only difference in the uh, operative. Uh, it should take you behind the target. Needs to take you behind the target, or it's useless. 
okay uh it's kind of useless we want to go behind the target so there you go it's going to be useful in uh yeah so uh they, what they should call it is they should call 4.0 Knights of the Teleporting Stealth Bastards. Because that's what PvP is going to be. That's what PvP. PvP is going to be Teleporting Stealth Bastards. That is what you're going to get. Bear in mind you also have Phase Walk as an assassin. It's two teleports. Two teleports you got as an assassin. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh. Utilities we're getting. Dark stability changed to six seconds down from the duration of deflection. Dark stability was the um, it was the immunity to uh, stuns while well, deflection was active. We are getting sna snaring slashes, which again, thrash, voltic slash, lacerate, reduce the movement speed of the target. It seems to be a theme: is teleporting stealth bastards and slows. That's the PvP theme. We can already hear the QQ right now. <laughs> you can hear it. Uh, speed surge again, activating ball shock, ball lightning, leeching strike, increases our movement speed, so we can slow things and run really fast. So it's going to be interesting with all these, uh, if we meet someone one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to have slow movement speed, slow movement speed, slow movement speed. It is the uh, movement speed is 30% reduction and the movement speed increase is 50% reduction for 6 seconds. So we're, we're coming out ahead here. We're going to come out ahead, we're still going to be able to move. Even if we hit each other with thrash and then hit them with a leeching strike, and it's gonna be like, ah, oh, fuck, shit, shit, fuck, move, slow, 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 move faster. Jeez, it's gonna make it, it, PvP is just gonna be a series of stalemates. Is that what it's gonna be now? We're also getting phasing phantasm. Phantom strike can be used well to mobilize again. Teleporting stealth bastards. <laughs> Back to that theme. Back to that theme. So we'll get to the uh, the class abilities. Darkness, the tanky spec, is getting mounting darkness increases the damage of discharge and wither by 50% up from 40%. A bit of a damage increase. Means more threat, more damage, more threat. Really, we're also getting dark bastion, which increases the duration of dark ward by 5 seconds and its number of charges by 5 and the shield chance it provides it provides by 3%. So we're getting 18% shield chance as opposed to 15%. And it's got a nice, so it means less refreshing. Uh, also reduces its cooldown by 5 seconds. And the duration of dark well, bulwark is going to be 5 seconds longer. And two additional ch stacks as well. So it means a bit less fiddly. I actually like that change. It's a bit less, a bit less fiddly. You know, if you forget to put it up, there's a little bit more time. A little bit more time on that. Uh, Deception is getting amped voltage, which increases the damage dealt by surging charge by Surging charge is discharged by 5%. Uh, if we activate Phantom Strike while Surging Charge is active, it builds three static charges. Ooh. Ooh. There's also a passive which says passive in the utility, in the, uh, the bullet point. I guess, I guess it's just passive. It's passive ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I see it now. I just said passive there. I was like, what the fuck was that metal about? It's passive. It just builds a passive now. Um, gonna be interesting. Phantom Stride is what you're gonna use when you are opener. I guess it's gonna be your opener, and discharge is gonna be your opener. We know what your opener is gonna be, discharge. Because it was all about building three static charges and getting a big discharge out. Yeah, that sounds dirty. That sounds like something's wrong with you, really. Because, yeah, you're building those static charges, oh, and then you get a big discharge. And then you're gonna come all over your opponent with that big discharge all over them, all over the face. There you go, and Vanguard's not the only perverts in the game, the uh, Assassins are perverts as well. There you go. Hatred, Bloodletting has a 100% chance to trigger when using Phantom Stride. Guess what your opening attack is going to be, and Languishing Lashes, that's a tongue twister. Languishing Lashes, Languishing Lashes, go around and see that, you'll get arrested and, uh, put, and the men in the white coats will come and get you, right, if you run around saying that, so don't do it, please don't. Uh, dealing melee damage increases the critical strike chance of your da of your damaging periodic effects by 10% for 10 seconds. Yep. Assassinate is your opener. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna phantom stride. Stride across the dance floor with your phantom stride. 
up there, up behind the tower. Well, I suppose you could get in front of the target. It won't matter if you are... Uh, still, going behind the target would be better. Uh, then you're going to hit your... Because you get bloodletting, which is the uh, assassinate. can be used on a target of any health. You're going to open with assassinate. You're going to get those languishing lashes. Oh, yeah, baby. Because, you know, dirty bastards, those assassins. Uh, yeah, so then you're going to put your dots up. And then you're going to get your dots up. Because it's going to be a 10% uh, damage for 10 seconds. So, definitely. There you go. There you go. The expansion is even out. And I'm doing a guide already. That's your opening attack. It's your opening gambit there. There's your opening attack. There you go. We've got it sorted for you. I've sorted it out for you. Don't worry. Yeah. So, uh, Sorks. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, everyone's getting phase walk. Uh, well, fourth barrier for the assassins, one of the comments. Yeah. God mode while moving, welcome to Paladins. Welcome to the Paladins, Beck. That, that's what's next. That, that's the next change. 4.1. Quick travel can be used. Well, there's not a lot of world PvP going on. Quick travel is going to be usable while fourth barrier is active. That's, I'm calling it, I'm calling it. I guess what they do at Bioware is they just get a, like, Wheel of Fortune type wheel of World of Warcraft abilities. Uh, and they get a thing with Swotor class. They have two wheels. So two Wheel of Fortune wheels. They spin the one wheel with the World of Warcraft ability. And it lands on... I hit the mic there. That's where that big jolt came from there. Uh, sorry about that. They spin the wheel. Okay. They, it lands on... Uh, disengage, disengage, and then they spin the other wheel, and it lands on the, oh, mercenary. Oh, we'll have that then. That's how they design their classes. That's a reveal, that's a reveal for you. That's Bioware's internal design philosophy. Just spin a wheel, World of Warcraft ability, heroic leap. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. The Guardian, ah, <laughs> shit, I forgot about it. What was it, um... Dash, Mad Dash or something like that, or Fury of Dash or some shit like that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Sith Warrior. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Or they just copy and paste it like that. Maybe that. Maybe that's too scientific. But anyway, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon. And goodbye.